Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to it's auction day. Today is the day you support the kids and give all your money away. Okay, maybe not all, but you'll give your support and contribute your best. Any amount will do to ensure programs are available for all, each and every one of our students, large and small. Raffles are $5, the wine is over there. If that's the way you go, please take care. Troll up and down the aisles. Stop, what is that there? Pick up the pin, that's the only way you'll win. Whether a painting or a pillow or piano lessons, contributed by parents, students, or staff. Bid, 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 and bid high. And always remember to laugh, especially after you see that final bill. Remember, it's all for the kids. But this has been my attempt to rhyme and channel Dr. Seuss. Everyone have a great evening, and don't forget the booze. Oh, sorry, I meant booth. There's a booth around here somewhere. Okay, now for the real reason you're here. Your support helps our school champion the six pillars of our mission. Belonging in equity, whole child, community, environment, experiential exploration, and democracy. Now it's time to sit back, drink wine, and enjoy the show, and see where all your money goes. When they do, to people as brainy and footsie as you, and when things start to happen, do you worry, don't stew, just go right along, and you'll start So hey guys, my name is Casey Cheever and I'm the band teacher at Orca K8. At Orca we're very fortunate that we have band more than one day a week for our elementary students, which is quite unusual in the school district and that is something that helps our students become more proficient faster, feel more confidence and be proud to be a student at Orca with finding success. And the most important thing to me is being able to think fluently and being able to think quickly, which music does, as we have the ability to slow things down so much to where they can get it right, and then being able to speed it back up and play it together as a whole group. And it's a wonderful thing to watch the students go through that. So thank you to the staff and the PTSA for all their support of the band program and music program at Orca. Our kids are utilizing our playground in great ways. They are outside every day exploring in ways that they weren't able to last year. And it's in thanks to the parents of the TSA and the community that has volunteered and worked to get grants so that we can make this happen for our kids. We come and play on the playground all the time. We live two blocks away from here. And we see so many more people coming out and using them playground and walk in the loop and 
just all different activities out here, loving the play structures. Yeah, some of the elements that were in our original plan that we would like to do that we weren't able to finish in phase one include kind of expanding the entryway, putting in a number of new play structures and refinishing some of the surfaces, as well as expanding more of the natural features. And I think that's something that a lot of people asked for and talked about is having more natural play areas. All the way home, telling Nana all about it, it the fun. I like that playground over here, and I like how it's sunny today because today's a beautiful day. And the way they hack, tomorrow they'll be. I am an artist and a learner. I wonder who I will be when I'm older. I am a crazy cat lady and bossy. I am my own dream. I wonder what my path will be. I hear the voice. And I'm not the worst thing a boy can be. I'm sick and tired of you telling me that I'm not pretty because I'm black. How could I think that I'm nothing when the person who gave me life obviously thought I was something now I'm So hi, my name is Toya Taylor. I am the founder of We App, which is We Act, Present and Perform, and our youth program is called Young Artist Academy. Vice Principal Manuel went to the PTSA and said this is a program that advocates for youth using their voices. They come in and they teach young people about integrating public speaking and performing arts and teach them not to only advocate for themselves, but their peers and their community. And the PTSA said, yes, we're going to have them here. Some of the things that kids do through We App Young Artist Academy, I mean, it's the whole gamut of public speaking. We're integrating creative writing with performing arts. So they're writing original essays. They're learning leadership skills, how to work together as a team. And once you put all those elements together, our kids did their first annual uh, oratory competition where we had at least three kids placed from Orca. And more importantly, teachers are saying they're seeing a difference in the way kids are showing up in the classroom, how they're articulating themselves, advocating for their peers, and showing up and being the leaders and scholars they always, we always knew they could be. Now they know. So thank you to the Orca PTSA. Guess what? Being black isn't a bad thing. To you it might be, but to me it's not. Because that's who I am. And who I am is fighting for my identity. Because you're not going to rip that away from me. The only thing that's ripped off of me is the label you put on me. I can change the world with my own two hands I can make it a better place with my own two hands I can make it a kind of place with my own two hands With my own, my own, my own two hands Oh, my own, my own I'm the mother of an orca kindergartner, and I can already see how much she's getting out of the garden experience at Orca. She's teaching me things about worms and salmon that I didn't know about in plants. And one of the things that's really wonderful is I'm noticing that when she is taking time to help grow something, she's more interested in just the world around her and also eating her vegetables. <laughs> We're getting our plants from the orchard garden and it's all organic and fresh. Yeah. And so we think it's like really cool because it's from our own school. Not packed in box, yeah. Science is not a thing that you do in a classroom. Science is something that is around us all the time and in fact it's part of our earth system. You know, and like learning through dirt and worms and 
just the cycles of the seasons and growing things and tying it all in together is really, um, it's important. It's important that your kids get a chance to experience stuff instead of just trying to drill it in through their heads. My name is Crystal Smith. I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Orca. Um, every Thursday we come out here to the garden and start our mornings off beautifully, get your kids excited, eating, working, it's having a great time with you. Writing letters to Obama, wherever. I think he just helps us start our day off right and just get ready to go. My name is Anthony and I've been the garden coordinator here at Orca for eight years now. And uh, it's such an amazing experience to hang out with your kids. Your kids are incredible. They're so curious. They're so excited to be out in the natural world. It's my honor to be here. And it's due to your support as the PTA coming together and saying this is important. We want Orca to be different. We want to support environmentalism. We want to support social justice. We want to support giving back to our community. And so, uh, you know, it's just an amazing experience for me to see kids grow up and see them have the natural world and food and the garden and community gardening and environmentalism be part of what they do every week of every school year. And it's pretty amazing, so unique what we do here. And once again, it's, it's really only because of, of the, the amazing support of the PTA and all the parents. And uh, I thank you for that. We got a lot of work to continue doing and uh, let's, let's get to work. And I can change the world with my own two hands. I can make it a better place with my own two hands. I can make it a kind of place with my own two hands, with my own.